what is going on guys my name is mikey and welcome to today's video so today's video is off to a late start already i was trying to wake up at 7 a.m and right now it's 8 a.m so i'm already a bit of a waste man already but no matter today i'm basically going to take you guys through a day in the life of what i do in the beginning of each term um, I kind of set up a schedule. Um, I do this mainly so that I don't miss any deadlines and that I can get everything done as efficiently as possible. Okay, so I just got ready. Um, right now I'm just gonna go downstairs, get some coffee, then I'm gonna come back upstairs and hopefully get started on my work. Ah, there's nothing like that first sip of coffee. For some reason, this batch that I made put me in a weird state of euphoria. I had to get a second and a third sip. All right, so I just got my coffee, and the first thing I kind of do before I get started with anything is I do a typing uh, speed test. Mainly, I do this because I'm trying to increase my words per minute, so it's been helping recently, and I know that practice makes perfect, so you know, I'm just trying to do it every single morning just to get it out of the way, and then I get started on the rest of my work after I'm done it. Okay, so I just got my results. I got 78 words per minute, which is like not bad. Um, I did have 86% accuracy, so I want to increase my accuracy to hopefully somewhere around 95%, 90-95%. And I also want to increase my words per minute to around 90 by the end of the year. And that's kind of like why I've been like doing it. Um, other than that, what I'm going to do now is basically just organize all the deadlines and when my assignments are due for the rest of the term. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Welcome back to Audio Recording Mikey. So this is Notion. So I kind of use Notion for everything. It helps me organize my schedule as well as my YouTube channel. I put all my ideas there and it just keeps everything organized. So I think you guys should check it out if you're looking for kind of an online organizational planner. Okay, so I just finished putting everything into Notion. What I'm kind of gonna do now is just like quickly just take a break on my bed, watch some YouTube, and then probably get back to study in like half an hour or so. So every day around, I'd say halfway through my studying, I always give myself a break to, you know, watch some YouTube or watch Netflix just to unwind a bit. Um, I feel like this helps a lot, especially for myself with mental clarity. And it helps me get motivation to continue working throughout the day. I also like to drink a lot of water. Like you guys all know, if you watch my videos, you'll know that I probably drink around four to five liters of water a day, and I drink around two liters before noon already. All right, so I just finished the break. It's like uh, 1230 right now. So what I'm planning on doing now is watching my first lecture for biology. Um, I wanna finish that right now so that maybe later on in the day I could add it to Anki and get started on the Anki questions tomorrow. Um, my other prof said that they're gonna post the lectures for their content tomorrow and, for, and basically the rest of the week. So I wanna have time to work on those and just get biology out of the way today. So that's what I'm gonna do now. With most of my classes, since I'm in a biology major, I have a lot of memorization that I need to learn. So what I usually do is I open the lecture on my computer at two times the speed, of course, because we don't wanna waste any time. It's all about productivity here. And then I also open the lecture on my iPad where I take annotated hand notes. Then when I refer to the notes later on, I could see exactly what I was thinking in class and that helps me better memorize in the long term. This part I think is pretty cool. Every time I say Alexa lights out, my computer and all the lights in my room turn off, which is exactly what's happening right here. 
Alright, so I'm like midway through my walk right now and I'm just realizing now that I definitely should have brought a jack with me. Yesterday when I came on my walk, I didn't need a jacket, so I just assumed today I probably didn't either. But clearly that was a mistake on my part. So stay tuned for when my ears freeze on my way back. Okay, so I just got back from my walk. It's like 4 p.m. right now. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is get some food in because uh, I haven't eaten the whole day. And then after that, I'm gonna start making my Inky flashcards from my biology course um, so I can get started on the questions tomorrow. <laughs> So welcome back to Voice Over Mikey. So before my courses, I usually always check the syllabus to check out the grade breakdown. This helps me find out where I should put most of my emphasis on. If you ask any of my friends, they'll tell you how I always have the grade breakdown memorized for each of my classes, and I think it is very important to do so. All right, so I just finished adding all the flashcards to Anki, which took a while. Uh, I'm pretty done for the day now. It's like around 7 p.m. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is probably just watch quickly Netflix, uh, chill a bit with my family, and then I'm gonna head back upstairs, eat, sleep, and repeat the whole thing tomorrow. So I know you're probably all wondering, oh, Michael, why are you standing? Uh, well, the main reason is because I was sitting the whole day, so I wanted to make sure I get the standing hours for my Apple Watch. Um, that's the whole reason why I walked. Cause I actually used to work out a lot, but since in Canada here, the gyms have closed due to lockdown. All I could really do is walk all day and stand. So I stand when I watch Netflix. Um, and one of the shows that I actually started now is Lupin. They're pretty nice show. Um, I would suggest you guys watch it. It's literally only five episodes long. So I'm actually switching my room around a bit. Uh, I currently have a queen bed, but that I'm going to switch to a smaller twin bed. I'm also adding a couple bookshelves on the wall, which I will have a future video showing me unboxing everything and setting up everything in my room. So be sure to stay tuned for that upcoming video. Now we finally reached the end. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys also have an amazing term coming up if you guys are students. And that's it for me for this week. Cheers.